Alrighty, I'm going to start doing the diagnosis sheet here for my statter. We're going to go down uh, through this. I printed this off of GS Resources and uh, basically uh, since I already did my test with a good battery and I know that my uh, voltage is lower than 13.5 volts when I'm revving the engine up, I have to move on to the next step which is going to start, I believe, diagnosing the rectifier and seeing if there's any issues with that. So basically um, it's gonna, I'm going to start it and I let the engine idle and uh, I've got the uh, negative or the black multimeter lead I guess it's really not negative but the black one here is supposed to go to the positive lead on the battery which it is and then what you do is you find the red output of the rectifier if you follow this up you can see it comes up to here it comes out of the rectifier there runs up and it comes out here and so what I'm going to do is I that's a tight squeeze there, so I've got my positive lead here. I'm going to stick it in there and see what the reading is. It should be less than 0.2 volts. Or I should say more than 0.2 volts. If it's less than, I move on to the next, uh, next step here. So let's start that up. And this is supposed to be at idle. And it's supposed to still be connected, so you don't disconnect it from the, re the uh, rectifier. So I'm going to go ahead, reading zero, just going to slide that in there. It's touching, and I'm reading negative 0.35. I don't know what that means, but it's less than 0.2. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on to the next step. All right, this time um, it says that you're supposed to have the pot or the red lead connected to the negative side of the battery. And then what you want to do is you want to start have the bike running and uh, connect the black lead to this uh, negative output, which is the black and white wire, and it goes to there. So I'm going to go ahead and start this thing up. Go ahead and touch it to there. So it's touching. And I've got 0 0.01, 0 0.02, which is less than the 0.2. So I gotta move on to the next step. Alright, this next step is gonna be to test uh, ohms, which will be the resistance uh, between the phases on the stator. So um, it's going to tell you if uh, you have connections or uh, if there's no connection, if there's uh, if it's not a good connection. Uh, basically, the range needs to be between uh, 0.5 and uh, 0.2. I'm sorry, no, 0.5 and 2 ohms is where you want it to be at. Uh, so basically, what you do is you pull these uh, your white, green, yellow, and white blue out. And uh, you disconnect them, and this the bike doesn't have to be running. And then uh, you connect to one, and you can test the cross phases. Um, I'm going to connect to the yellow, and then test the yellow to white green, and the yellow to white uh, blue. And then I'm going to test from the white blue to the white green, and that'll be and see what my ranges are. All right, so you can see I've got my red lead connected up to this. Uh, um, yellow double connection with uh, the alligator clips and now I'm going to connect just with the little uh, pointy black lead into there and see what the ohms readings are. Well, actually I've got to switch it to ohms. Let's do that. The lowest ohm setting for mine that'll be 200 and when it's not reading anything it shows this one way over here but let's see what happens when I'm going to go yellow to white and green jam that thing in there. I'm showing 1 ohm resistance, which is within the range there. So let me go ahead and I'm going to try and go, this will be yellow to white blue. Doing this with one hand is kind of tricky. OK. 
okay, it's in there, it's settling down. One ohm as well. That's good. Now I'm going to try and do this. I'm going to pull this alligator clip here. I'm probably going to set this down and then turn this back on. All right, I've got the uh, white green alligator clipped in with the red. And I've got my uh, white blue here, and I'm just going to go ahead and slide this in there and check the ohms on there. Come on, Bessie. Okay, see there? Settling in at one ohm, so everything checks out there. Alrighty, now I've got uh, one last step on the ohms test here, and that's uh, basically we're going to test from any of these leads here. It doesn't have to be all of them, and uh, you want to go ahead and take it, connect it to one lead, take the other end and touch it to the case of the engine and see if it changes. It shouldn't change, it should stay at this one or over on the left are infinite otherwise you have a problem with the stator there so let's go ahead I've got it there touching it to the case right there still at one ohms or the infinite ohms I should say so that means that the stator isn't melted into the case or anything so that should be insulated from the case if everything's good Okay, uh, the next test here is going to be the uh, no load test. We'll have the engine running and we're going to check uh, voltage across the phases. So what I'm going to do here is got to put this on to uh, the uh, AC volts, which is going to be 200 is the lowest setting for me. Other one, otherwise it would be high voltage. Um, and what I'm going to do then is got to connect one and I'm going to check across the phases again, but this time for, uh, for voltage, not for ohms. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to alligator clip onto here because I have to run the engine up. So I'm not going to be able to have my hands on it. So I'll turn this back on in a second. Okay, I've got uh, alligator clips on uh, the yellow to uh, white and blue phases here. Let's start this thing up to zero. There's 14 volts. Let's give this thing a rev. Okay, for uh, the GS, it's supposed to, that was at 5,000 RPMs. The GS is supposed to be at 65. They're a little bit higher, and it was, so that's good. Now let me go ahead, and I'm going to switch this off. I'm going to plug it into the uh, uh, yellow. To, uh, white and green, and then we'll do it, do that face to face. All right, I've got the next one hooked up here. We're at uh, around 14.5 or so. Let's take this thing up to 5,000 RPMs. It's again, above 65, so that's good. Now I've got to turn this off. I'm going to hook. Um, two white phases, white, green, white, blue together, and test that. Okay, I've got white, green, and white, blue here. I'm going to go ahead and rev this thing up to 5,000 again. Just over 65, so everything checks out there. Now I'll move on to the next part of the checklist. Okay, I've got to, uh, had to come inside because I don't know how to work this thing, uh, Harbor Freight thing with, uh, on diode testing. So basically after doing a little checking here, uh, basically I'm, for this test on the rectifier, I've got the red clamped on to the positive side here. And then, uh, to test, uh, do the diode test, um, this thing's going to read in, um, millivolts and, uh, the requirement is for this to pass is 1.5 volts or uh, higher and if it's uh, below that um, on any of the tests on any of these other three wires when I test that um, means I have a bad regulator rectifier so basically um, it should read um, ideal on this since it's millivolts would be 1500 
Um, anything lower than that is unacceptable. Um, infinite here, um, that probably would also not be good. So let's see, I'm going to start here, I'm going to go and I'm going to touch, touch the lead to the yellow. And that's staying at infinite, which is not a good sign. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to touch this to uh, the blue and white. Looks like I'm at 1.1, which is too low, 1.1 volts. 1163 millivolts and let's try this uh, guy here which is white and red let's sneak under there that is also reading infinite so it looks like according to this I have a different bad news, the regulator rectifier is at fault. So I've got to replace that and then uh, start again at the test. Um, I don't know if it's worth going into this next step anyhow. Um, maybe I will. Okay, just to check my work, um, as they would say in math, I'm going to do this last test here, which is uh, going to be a diode test on the regulator rectifier again. Basically I'm looking for uh, uh, when I connect this, I've got to connect to the negative lead um, for the rectifier. Uh, some of these, I guess, it's not going to be the, uh, there won't be a wire. The case is just the negative. Um, mine has the lead. And you're just going to go through to the uh, different ones here. And uh, you're going to test um, to the yellow wire uh, or to all the different phase wires. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to call them out here. Um, and you want to have a reading of 5, 0.5 volts on all three tests. Um, so let's go ahead and check this. Um, and then there's a reading. Um, if it's below 0.2 volts or above 1, then that's a fail for this test. Well, that's 0.5 on the yellow. Point five on the white and blue. Point five on the white and red. So that does pass, but it doesn't pass on the uh, on the previous test, the test from the positive across those leads. So it looks like I have a rectifier issue. I'm going to have to see about getting one and then uh, going from there.